Holy smokes, that's ridiculous. <laughs> it moved the camera. <laughs> So guys, a couple weeks ago, I installed an iDash in my 2.8 Duramax Colorado. Um, I'll put a card up in the corner if you guys wanna check out that video, but I can just kinda of walk you through um, how to install it, how to set it up, and what is it capable of sort of thing. But I was not expecting the response I got, mostly because uh, Banks Power saw my video and they wanted to put it on their YouTube page, their Facebook page, and they sent me an email basically asking me for permission to use it. One of the other things that kind of came up throughout our conversation was the pedal monster. Um, they asked me if I had a pedal monster and I said no because well to me a pedal monster is everything I can do with my right foot. So if I want to go full throttle real quick, I can go full throttle real quick with my right foot. Um, to me it's just kind of hard to uh, see the value in the product never, never having used it. And the email that they came back with was trying to explain the pedal monster to somebody that's never driven a vehicle with a pedal monster is like trying to describe sweet to somebody that's never had sugar now me being a big sweet tooth and sugar being my main weakness i was like okay i gotta try this thing so to be able to understand how the pedal monster works and what the pedal monster does first of all you have to understand how a modern throttle works so most manufacturers went to a setup like this like 15, 20 years ago at this point. Um, the way it works is you have basically a potentiometer or like a dimmer switch um, that you would have in your house attached to the throttle pedal that sends an electrical signal to the ECM. The ECM then takes that signal and actuates the throttle. Um, the reason this, this system sort of came about was mostly fuel economy. Um, so what manufacturers figured out is by changing the amount of um, input re in relation to the output of the throttle, they could gain fuel economy. So if you, let's say, you push the throttle down 50%, they would only give you, let's say, maybe 45% at the throttle. So taking a look here, what the pedal monster actually does is it intercepts the signal coming from the pedal and changes it and gives the ECM a false value. The ECM then acts off of that false value with the throttle pedal. Depending on what you have the pedal monster set to as far as the setting, whether it's city, sport, or track, that's going to be the change that the ECM sees. Therefore, you're going to get a different output to the throttle. All of these uh, throttle boosters on the market pretty much all work the exact same way. Um, but Banks has a patent on the pedal monster for a couple different reasons. So first of all, if you take a look at any of these modules that are out on the market, um, especially like the Pedal Commander, because that's kind of like the most popular one that's out there, um, the Pedal Commander takes its power from the ECM. Um, the reason this matters is in some applications, the ECM does not have enough power supplied to power another module. So the ECM would only have enough power to run the pedal and that's it. So in certain applications, you can have issues with the throttle pedal causing check engine lights and basically the throttle pedal going away completely. Um, what Banks does to get rid of this is they run a 12 volt power into the pedal monster from the OBD2 port. So the other thing that they have with the OBD2 port is they know what gear you're in. The reason that it matters that they know what gear you're in is so you don't have extra throttle sensitivity in reverse. So if you're backing up a trailer, backing up to a trailer, or you know trying to put your boat in the lake, you don't drive your whole darn truck right into the lake. So that's kind of a big deal. Um, the other thing is if there's an internal fault in the pedal monster, it bypasses and just goes straight through. So it's like this was never here and it goes right through to the ECM and that module does nothing. If you take a look at um, Pedal Commander, the other stuff that's out on the market, if there's a fault with the module, you no longer have a pedal. There's a couple different versions of this thing, whether if you uh, if you have an iDash or not, it's gonna change uh, what version you need. So as you guys are aware at this point, I have an iDash, so I have the iDash version. Um, so we get the Pedal Monster, and you know here's the, the wiring harness that's gonna intercept the, uh, you know, the stock pedal and then this wire goes up to my iDash. All right, so this is gonna be the first drive with the Pedal Monster installed. I've got it set to stock right now just because I live in a fairly quiet allotment and I really don't wanna smoke an old lady walking her dog. 
So uh, I'm gonna get this thing out on the road, start playing with the settings, and uh, see what I think of this thing. All right, so I'm coming up to the exit of my allotment. I'm gonna turn this thing up to like city, what is that, six, seven? Let's see what we get here. Oh yeah. All right, so that's like three quarters of the way up in city. Um, I've got some more settings that I can go. Yeah, this thing's wanting to pull. With an iDash, you can change the speed or the sensitivity when you're moving. Um, you just gotta take your foot off the gas and you can turn it up. So I'm gonna go like halfway up sport. Oh yeah, I'm just barely, I'm barely leaning into the throttle. <laughs> That's, that's almost unnecessary, even halfway through sport. So I can only imagine what track is gonna be. Yeah, it, it just wants to go. I mean, like, that's the only way I can describe it is you touch the gas and it's it wants to pull. All right, so I'm sitting here at a light. There's nobody in front of me. Once the light changes, I'm going all the way up on track and I just wanna see what the heck happens. Holy smokes, that's ridiculous. <laughs> It moved the camera. <laughs> yeah, track track is complete overkill for the street. Um, like you barely touch the throttle and it's going crazy. Yeah, that's that's too much. Um, <laughs> so the I'm trying to figure out how to describe this to you guys because it's. It's very hard to explain. Um, the truck is more responsive. I, you know, obviously I just got in the thing, so I haven't, I haven't found like my exact setting that I want to use as far as, because really what I'm going for here, guys, I just want a cable throttle. At the end of the day, that is what I want. I want the responsiveness of a cable. So I haven't found that yet because I've literally put two miles on this thing so far. So I'm still trying to play around with the settings and fi figure out you know what's right and what's wrong and I'll tell you right now track level 10 is wrong that's way too much so those of you guys that you know follow my channel some of you may know that my dad also owns a diesel Colorado so my plan is is I'm gonna take my dad stick him in the driver's seat of this thing and I'm gonna get out the app on my phone and I'm gonna start playing around with the settings on him and basically I want to see if he can figure out what the heck I did to the truck so to give you guys a better idea of what this sort of feels like. Um, there's a screen on the iDash that'll kind of show you. So right here, I have the pedal monster set to stock and the bar graph on the right is what I'm doing with the throttle pedal. So if I turn the pedal monster on and basically where I found my sweet spot is, is level 10 in city. Um, that is what gives me the best responsiveness and, you know, I can pull away from a stoplight smoothly and, you know, not rear end the guy in front of me basically. But if you check this out, so the bar graph on the left is my throttle input and the bar graph on the right is what the pedal monster is sending to the ECU. So you can see there's a pretty big disparity in that, in that, uh, in those two bar graphs. So if you turn this thing up, when I had this thing all the way turned up on track mode, um, check out the disparity in these two graphs. Like it just makes that disparity that much greater. So, I mean, I'm giving this thing, what, 30, 35% throttle maybe? And the pedal monster's commanding 80. The other thing is with the iDash, like I said, as long as your foot is off the pedal, you can change these settings. So if I give it some throttle here and I try to change it, it it's not gonna let you. The nice thing about this thing is guys, um, this isn't like a hard part, like, you know, a cold air intake or something like that. So I can, I can turn around and I can turn this thing, you know, drive around in city, get used to what that feels like, and then turn it completely off and go back to stock. And then, you know, you can do a, a real time test you know, before and after, basically, you can turn this on and off while you're driving. It's not like a hard part where you bolt something on. It's not like you can take it on and off when you're driving to actually, you know, feel the difference. With this, 100%, um, you can totally, totally feel the difference in the way the vehicle behaves. Those of you guys that don't have an iDash, 
Um, Banks also has an app for your phone to control the pedal monster. So you don't necessarily need to have an iDash to be able to use this thing. So as you can see, the, the setup on it is pretty pretty similar to what is on the iDash. Um, so you have city, sport, and track down at the bottom, and then you can change the uh, you know the intensity over here on the side. So you don't have to have a iDash to be able to use this device, um, but there is a separate part number if you're only gonna use your phone. So it's been a couple days and one haircut later, and I finally got this pedal monster sort of dialed in to, uh, to where I like it. Um, where I ended up was about level 10 city, because if I go much higher than that, my sheepdog in the back, he gets car sick. As far as getting into traffic and things like that, that's where I ended up because that kind of feels what's the most natural for this truck. Um, again, that's gonna depend on you know the vehicle you're dealing with, how much throttle leg it has, things like that. So for me, that's where I ended up. The nice thing about this is it's got you know three different settings, city, sport, or track, and each one of those settings has 10 different, you know, basically intensity levels. So you can really dial this thing in and get it, you know, how you like it. With that, I'm headed over to my parents. I'm gonna get my dad in the driver's seat. I'm gonna get out the app on my phone and uh, we're gonna get his impressions on this thing. All right, Dad, so you got big shoes to fill because the last last video you were in got 180, 187,000 hits. So, you know, no pressure. Okay, it must be the content or the person. It's probably the uh, person. Is this what the difference is? Just tell me if you notice any difference right now. No, I'll tell you right here. Let me get up to 40 here. Hard to tell. Okay. Seriously? You'll see. You believe me. You'll know. Accelerate normally. What do you mean? Here just at 40? Yeah. No, just like you were pulling away from a stoplight. From here. Yeah. Exactly. There's a line right there. Huh. Yeah, I noticed that. <laughs> <laughs> what, what, I barely, I don't touch the gas in it. Is it got a different, uh, hold on, stop one more time. <laughs> Accelerate normally. It's barely touching the gas and it's, Let me keep going. Let me uh, let me turn this thing down before we get in his driveway and drive right through his barn. <laughs> <laughs> so what do you see? What I mean? <laughs> so what did you do? Increase the sensitivity of the, the pedal, or exactly? It's different. I, it definitely increases a, your uh, responsiveness. Yeah, it takes off a little bit better. Especially I could see getting on the highway. Um, Pulling trailer, yeah, just uh, pulling out in front of people. Uh, <laughs> well, not that we're condoning pulling out in front of people, but you know, if you got to make a left turn real quick, kind of deal. Yeah, and you got uh, you know heavy traffic, and you got to make it quick when you go out. It doesn't. It definitely helps. Your turn off. You gonna say bye, or are you just gonna let me? Uh... I figured you'd edit it out anyway. <laughs> <laughs> So when it comes to the Pedal Monster, my initial thinking was completely wrong. Um, the reason I say that is you have to think of the amount of time that you spend um, like driving away from a stoplight, accelerating onto the highway, or even just driving down the road at a constant state. The Pedal Monster is gonna enhance, you know, basically how that throttle feels. So in those part throttle situations, that is when you notice the pedal monster. You don't notice it at wide open throttle and obviously you're not gonna notice it at idle, but at any point in between, that is when you notice that device. Um, and I know there's a bunch of people out there just that had the exact same opinion that I did when I started where, oh, that's just a placebo. I don't, you know, I don't see the value in something like that. Until you actually drive one, it's hard to see the value in it. But I'm here to tell you guys that 
anytime you're not at idle or wide open throttle, it makes it better. Um, it's very hard to explain. The truck is just very, very responsive compared to how it felt prior to it. And like I said, you can change it back and forth as you're driving down the road to feel the difference in real time. So guys, I'll have a link down in the description to the Pedal Monster if you guys are interested, as well as the Banks Power website. Um, but yeah, as always guys, if you guys like the video, hit like, if you wanna see more content, go down and hit subscribe. Thanks for watching, guys.